our voice and make the decisions to make this county that you allow us to call Hillsborough a better place for all of our citizens to live, work, and play. Regulate our minds, keep us humble, and make sure that we work together to accomplish this goal that you give us an opportunity to do. Father, we ask that you bless those that are in our military uniforms, whether in this soil or foreign soils, that are working and protecting us for our freedoms. We ask you to protect those first responders that leave their homes every day to protect us here at home. And we ask you to return them to their families safe and sound. And Father, when we leave this place, we ask you to take us back to our families and we may see them and be safe and sound with them. All these blessings we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Seem to forget there were women on our board when there were five commissioners. Betty Castor, Jack Black. Then we had Sylvia Rodriguez. What do you call her? Jenny's? We had Frank Campos. So they're spewing crap, okay? Victor DeMaio should know better. And that's a perfectly illegitimate word. Because you're going to have to say things people don't want to hear, and you're going to have to be prepared to not get reelected. And it's going to have to, you're going to have to be replaced by other politicians that are prepared not to get reelected over and over again until a message gets through to the people that don't want to make the changes. They have to make these changes. They have to adapt over the next half century to a century. They have to pass this on to their kids. But fortunately, there is a lot of methane in Canada, and uh, there is an energy future for the country. Thank you, sir. Last speaker this morning is going to be David Kearns. And again, for those who did not have an opportunity to speak this morning, they'll have a chance to stop in the end of the board's agenda. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioners. My name is David Kearns. I drive here from Brevard County. I live at the 668 Dunbarton Circle, Palm Bay, Florida. Um, I'm an author of several books, and including my latest, Rick Scott, Enemy of the State. Yes, I am a Democrat, and they should all be allowed to vote. Their votes should be permitted to count. Um, I have asked since July for any written documentation regarding the erasure of 38,000 votes, mostly in District 3 on election night, November 2nd, 2010, since July, regarding an event that happened in 2010. Um, just as a reminder, 38,000 votes, that's five miles long ballots stretched end to end. And we're left to believe that in three hours, 15 poll workers jammed these back through the uh, optical scan machines in order to recount those, uh, or rescan those 38,000 votes. This isn't the way the system was designed to work, by the way. I was told by the supervisor of elections that uh, this happened during the primary. Um, then I was told, well, it was all wrapped up by 1030. I was in the presence of Mr. Tim Bobanek. I was also in the presence of Earl Leonard and um, Craig Latimer. Okay, so for that, uh, this, the supervisor of elections should be in violation of section of Article 1, Section A, and Section 3, uh, 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 Article 3, Sections A, B, and C of your ethics code. Perhaps even Article 4, Section A and B. Certainly Article 5, Section A of your ethics code. The county, county commission has been approached by me several times now. I'm continuing to ignore the request and petition for a member of the public seems clearly a violation of Section 1A of your ethics code. The county commission could also be in violation of Article 5, Section A. Yes, I am a Democrat, um, but I will perform my duties without favor, comes the, uh, comes the language of that. It is inconceivable to me that there isn't some sort of incident report to accompany the erasure of these votes. Counties have incident reports, a forklift cracks, a shipment of computers, incident report. Yet a glitch that seems to have a demographic prejudice, a political agenda, services in 2008 and 2010 to erase votes, the latest case the most egregious, and apparently there isn't the first incident report. If there is, one hasn't been pointed to me. Uh, I, suppose, I, I hope it's not a case of, you know, it's somewhere here in the county, and you have to find it. Good luck. Um, at any time, this body could stop my continued repeated appearances here by furnishing me that document. Um, what seems to ring loudest here is the inescapable conclusion that perhaps the Hillsborough County Commission, which paid millions for these machines, which apparently do not work when Democrats vote on them, and the Hillsborough County Commission doesn't particularly care that they don't, and are staunchly united in their lack of concern as we face the 2012 election. This is very concerning to me. 
Um, you have several folks here who have future political aspirations based on uh, staunch conservatives and guardianship of the public agenda. Thank you. Thank you. That includes the public comment portion of the agenda. Uh, can we have a motion to amend the consent? Motion Commissioner Miller. Or second. Second Commissioner Beckner. Please call your vote. Motion carries 7 to 0. Yep, uh, one item that was pulled. Talk to him. I walked out of there with it, out of any kind of documentation. So, the report essentially says he sent a report off. He sent the November 14th off to them and said, "Look, it, it said we don't know what's wrong with your machines. You know, 12 memory cards failed to upload their data to." the server so we could count the votes. And then we had to have us rescan it. We drive all the votes around in the middle of the night. We rush job and cram them all back through the machine. Oh, Thibodeau. Thibodeau and Boudreaux. <laughs> yeah, Thibodeau and Boudreaux is an old Louisiana thing. I'm not from there, but I've friends are from there. Anyway, buy you kind of buy you bureaucracy going on there, you know, drive the votes around. See, that's, that's the thing, you know. That's disenfranchising people is what's going on there. You know, minority votes, well, we got to do something special with them. I mean, this is so old school, cracker redneck, BS. Well, minorities and young students and poor peoples, we're going to have to do something a little bit different with day votes. That's what that is. Drive them around the middle of the night, shuffling jive, cramming back through the machines. You know, ballots, 14 to 17 inches long. I believe the ballot used that night was 17 inches long. So that means 38,000 ballots, and this is the story now, were jammed back through the machines. 38,000 ballots, 17 inches of ballots. That's every bit of seven miles long. You stretch them end to end. We're led to believe that took place over a period of three hours. Fifteen people furiously cramming those ballots back to the machine. No, sir. No. That did not happen. That's, that did not happen. The time doesn't even. You've met, you imaged it. You, know, you imagine two seconds of ballot. They, they can't make that, no, uh-uh, can't make that in three hours, no. The very beginning, I mean, you go back to Valley Forge when it looked bleak, and that's always when we were at our best. In a crisis, back to the wall, we respond well. The supervisor of elections office, and you have the supervisor of elections office, the last word he has on it, is it something wrong with the machine? And in a year and three months, there hasn't been the slightest bit of an investigation into which of these two is correct. Okay? Which of these two is correct? You know? And the intellectual curiosity of the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners with regard to this you couldn't measure that with the most delicate instruments known to science. They have zero intellectual interest, intellectual curiosity. The supervisor himself hasn't determined which. He hasn't gone any further in his quest than to receive feedback from the machine company says, y'all shouldn't pull the cards out of the machine before they all the software can download. Okay. Now how did that happen? The neat part about that, which is essentially your kid pulling out the C D from the C D burner before his favorite song is put on it. Tell me that'll happen. You know? A twelve year old knows better. But in this case the error happened 12 times in a row. Okay, so somewhere between time 2 and time 12, we ain't having us an error anymore, Thibodeau. 
You mean that boo draw? Laissez le bon temps roller. Yeah. You know, sometime along between 2 and 12, it's not an error. That's intent, okay? So, in a year, in three months since this election of Rick Scott, in which four of these county commissioners were elected, the supervisor himself hasn't looked into it at all. No? He's got two answers. He doesn't know which one's right. And he's not going any further in his investigation. Why? Okay? The Hillsborough County Commission, so too. They know this. You know how I know that? Because they refused to sign off as members of the canvassing board. Not one of those county commissioners. Now, there were four up for election that I know of, but there were other two that, that weren't up for election. One of them could have signed off as a member of the canvassing board. The canvassing board has to have a judge the supervisor of elections, okay, and a member of the county commission, okay? So one of them could have signed off, but no, 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 no. That county commission wants nothing to do with that election, how it was handled. They don't want to put their signature on it. That's how I know that they know that something screwed up that vote. So it comes down to this. It comes down to how far do they ignore this before what they're doing becomes willful blindness, becomes complicity, becomes part of the very cover-up, okay? They could adopt a resolution to demand the Division of Elections look into their election. They could do that, and that's what I'm going to ask for today. And I know that they're not going to do it, but I'm going to shame them. I'm going to make them say, look, I'm going to say, look, you... You either do this today, or you can explain to the voters of the United States of America, explain to the voters of the state of Florida, and explain to the voters of Hillsborough County why you have no interest in seeing to the sanctity of the vote. You, you have zero interest in making sure that the vote is secure in the Anchor County of the I-4 corridor as we face 2012. Tell us why you're not concerned. 